Today's opening of this three-acre property is an auspicious occasion for the state's Krishna consciousness movement. So auspicious, in fact, that the religion's world leader, Srila Vishnupad, was on hand to oversee the ceremony, accompanied by Alfred Ford, heir to the Henry Ford fortune. Six months ago, the historic home was in a dilapidated condition. The Hari spent $20,000 restoring the building. They don't own the house yet, but have every intention of purchasing it in the future. It's estimated the house is worth in excess of a million dollars. Formerly the home of Brisbane pioneer J. Walter Taylor, it'll now be the stately residence of nine Krishna followers. The movement defends its choice of prime real estate for its activities, saying only the best will do for their God. Actually, uh, this building is nice, but it's not nice enough for Krishna. Krishna is God. And actually, all of the great palaces and government houses of the world should be turned over to him.